Well, this started quicker than expected. Sure enough, our next matchup is underway with very little hesitation. This matchup going to be up against... Wait for it. University of Wisconsin Lacrosse is our next matchup and our final matchup here for tonight. We have Zoling Toxi and Ice on the side of Wisconsin. Of course, this matchup here now is back in the play versus league. This one is regular season action. Playoffs are not quite right here for this league, but I think it does actually start next week. So both these teams obviously want to get themselves the best possible standings, best possible seeding moving forward into this, uh, this playoff season. Kamal tries to pass it over the Fusion, but it's going to be put into the corner of the Wisconsin zone. Kerr is off the backboard, but Ice is going to be right there, ready and waiting. Alongside Toxie to push that aside. Zolink going to then take it from center, try to flip it over Fusion. It was successful, passed it off to Toxie, but a nice little check there from Kamal to take that was Zolink right off of the play. Making sure no shot attempt was possible. Kriz, after seeing Zolink, I think it was chase him down. Going to go to the skies to try and carry this forward. Passes it up to Fusion. Fusion centering shot. Going to be taken off the crossbar and pushed aside by Zolnik. I keep saying Zolink, but he uh, he baited me. Zolnik. Fusion with the takedown on to Ice, but it's going to be going right towards the St. Clair net. Kamal with the last second save. Nice job there. So we're just about to hit the halfway point of this matchup. University of Wisconsin Lacrosse looking fantastic as well in this game. Yes, of course, St. Clair coming in hot after their playoff victory in the UCEA up against Oakland University. But that being said, uh, University of Wisconsin Lacrosse would have also had a matchup earlier today. Of course, Play Versus always has two games per match day. And this is actually looking a little bit scary there for St. Clair. Zolnik just walking it through the crease by himself, but was not able to redirect it towards the net. Fusion pops it above the net. Careers with a good demo onto Tulksi. Only two defense to deal with. The pass to Kamal was a little bit put aside there from Careers. That would have been a nice shot, but unfortunately not going to be able to get a piece of it. Kamal tries to make a solo play out of it, but was not able to get it past the defense. Okay, Ice off the backboard. Kamal flicks it past one, gets it past Toxie. Fusion running alongside him. Kariz is nearby as well, but Zolnik going to break that up before the passing play could have ended up happening. Fusion Gets caught by Ice. Toxi overshoots his mark, however. Going to force Zolnik to get back and make the save. Zolnik down to Toxi. Getting messed with a little bit here from Kamal's. Nice little pit maneuver, actually, to just spin him out and take the ball for himself. Nice little slowdown. Looking for an axle breaker. He does get past one, but could not get past Zolnik. Chris, however, going to pick it up and take the shot and make that goal happen. After Kamal had a successful attempt, but it forced the save. Kariz was able to get this rebound pretty well uncontested. The save attempt, I think that was Ice who tried to make it, but could not find a piece of it. So St. Clair going to move up ahead as Kamal tries to scoop it out. Ends up taking down Tolksy, but Zolnik is going to bring it into the St. Clair zone. Tolksy gathers it after the clearing attempt was stopped, but Fusion going to pu keep pushing forward. Slow bounce into the zone, and sure enough, Kariz is going to find himself a second goal here in this next couple seconds. 20 seconds into that play, he was able to get hit basically a rinse and repeat of sorts, basically getting his own rebounds and taking care of that one, finding a second goal of the game and putting St. Clair in fantastic position with less than a minute to try and secure this first game in this play versus series.
That was a nice little knockdown from Kamal to set up Fusion as well. One more on the board. This time Fusion picking that one up. And game one, definitely going to be St. Clair's at this rate. Unless something absolutely catastrophic happens for the St. Clair squad. But the fact that they're moving forward into the uh, Wisconsin zone. And we see Kamal just doing his best helicopter impression up there. Just spinning around and stalling out this ball as best as possible. One final shot attempt there from Wisconsin, but it is going to be no dice this time by. Game one going to go into the hands of St. Clair College after Kariz finds himself two goals. Fusion finds one, and then he assists, of course, going over to Kamal and Fusion. And then, unfortunately, there for the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse, they were not able to find themselves on the scoreboard. But I will have to point out Zolnik's fantastic defensive efforts with getting himself five goals in that game. Or five goals. Five saves in that game. Five goals. What the heck? That'd be a different game altogether. What am I watching? But it's A-OK, -okay, as you can probably hear. Game number two of this series is right around the corner. Not going to be wasting too much time to get into this one. Sure enough, here we go. We get to see if Wisconsin can pull this comeback off. And obviously, they're a little bit sore after that last one. They were stuck in their zone for so long, it wasn't even funny. But that game could have been much further in St. Clair's favor if it wasn't for the efforts of Zolnik. Of course, getting five saves in that last game was really keeping his team into it up until those last couple seconds. Bearing attempts here for University of Wisconsin have been kind of weak, but we do see a breakout opportunity here by Ice. Bounces it off the backboard, tries to dink it off of uh, Kamal's hood, but it did not go where he wanted it. As Fusion tries to just redirect it ever so slightly all up in the skies. Kriz shot on target. Toxi with a solid save, keeping that one out of the corner. Through the crease it goes, but not going to find any of the St. Clair members as Kriz does get demoed by Ice. Kamal going to try and keep this in the Wisconsin zone. Passes it down for Kariz. Kariz takes it into the corner, slows it down for a second, flicks it upward, but Zolnik going to push it aside. Not going to let any St. Clair members get a piece of that. A solid shot from Kamal, but Ice comes in clutch with a huge save. Bit of an awkward pass there from Toxi. He passed it to Ice, who was in the crease. And I think that was Kamal. Added a little bit of extra pressure. Got one extra shot out of the deal. Nearly setting up the St. Clair player. Kamal off the backboard. Fusion drive by. Could not quite find it, though. Bounces it off the post. And now Toxi. Offensive opportunity. Tries to pass it to Zolnik. Zolnik demos Fusion, but misses the ball. So it's going to allow Kariz and Kamal to move forward. Kariz gets past one, but can't get past Toxi. Zolnik, shot attempt from his own zone. Can't quite get it there. Kariz dumps it into the corner. Kamal and Kariz both going to chase after that one, but Ice is going to be there to carry it out for the time being, waiting for the chance to strike. Toxi, shot on target. Kamal, barely going to knock it off of the crossbar. From the St. Clair zone. Fusion's trying to make something happen, but he has no boost right now. Going to be handed off to Ice. Toxie centering attempt on his own net, but we see Kariz and Fusion both trying to call out for it. The pass back here from Fusion to get it back to Kamal. Shot on target, but it's going to be stopped by Zolnik. Kariz centering attempt stopped by Toxie. Fusion up in the skies. Tries to clear it out. Passes it down to Kariz, who dumps it into the corner. Back to Fusion, and then back to Kamal. Kariz gets a piece of it. Back to Fusion, but Fusion misses the shot attempt. Three minutes down, and this game and counting. Still no score in game number two. A much closer back-and-forth battle between these two teams. 
Zolnik just doing his absolute damnedest to keep this ball out of his own net. It's been an absolute standout so far here on this University of Wisconsin lacrosse team. Low key hearing the uh, having the lacrosse in the University of Wisconsin's team is making me miss the Clippers. Shout out to the Clippers. Just watching them play. That being said, still have a fantastic match here, right here, right now. Of course, minute left, and there's still no goals. We're in the St. Clair zone, however. Ice looking to turn this around right now in this series. Uh, University of Wisconsin have not found themselves on the scoreboard just yet, and they're still going to have to wait a little bit longer. So it looks like Kamal has found his opportunity to break through. Fusion passes it off. Zolnik gets a piece of it. It ends up being a pass to Kamal unintentionally, and he's going to punish him for it big time. 45 seconds left. St. Clair find himself on the board. I mean, one goal is still... Nothing to feel too comfortable with as of this moment. Shot by Ice, barely going to be going wide. Fusion just skyrockets it towards the net. Can somebody finish that one? The crossbar has returned. And thankfully, for the side of St. Clair, they're not going to get ripped off this time. After a double dinger onto the crossbar, Fusion going to just wait it out and just get it barely tucked under that crossbar giving them that second goal that they were looking for. Jess has a little extra insurance here with 24 seconds left. One goal in, or two goals, 10 seconds each. Definitely doable. But we need to see it quickly. And we do see the St. Clair's keeping it kind of stuck right now inside the Wisconsin zone. Not able to get it out. They are an ice. Going to try to do something in its corner. But as we can hear, the timer is ticking down once again. Ball just has to hit the ground one more time. St. Clair going to take game number two and threaten the match point now onto the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse. Goals of this game brought to you, of course, by Fusion and Kamal, with assists being given out to both Fusion and Kariz. And once again, Zolnik, an absolute stellar defensive play. Another five saves on that game, making it much closer than it probably should have been. But saves are never going to amount you anything on the scoreboard of sorts. I mean, yes, you're on the points board, but not the scoreboard. As we hear the engines revving, game number three going to be right around the corner, now or never here for the University of Wisconsin Lacrosse as St. Clair are looking to... Just 3-0 sweep their uh, play versus matches here today. But, I mean, they started off strong. Zolnik finds himself a shot, really forced Fusion to get uncomfortable and make that save. Then he was able to carry it out right after the fact and just keep it stuck there as Kamal now has control. Brutal first 30 seconds gone and out of the way. We are in the Wisconsin zone. A nice demo coming out here from Fusion. Going to allow Kariz to move it forward. Another demo. There's nobody home to defend. Kariz is just going to be able to walk it all the way in. Fusion takes one out. I think Kamal took one out. Ice missed his mark. And that just lets Kariz to take it to the skies and finish that one off. Off the faceoff, we're back into the Wisconsin zone. Ball with control of it in the corner, trying to push it forward, but Ice is going to try and knock it aside. He gets the opportunity to try and carry it out, but he kind of fumbles it a little bit. Tries to pass it off to Zolnik, but it did not quite work as intended. St. Clair just going to dump it right back in. Loose pop fly ball here in the Wisconsin zone, but not going to be capitalized. Shot here from Ice, going to be pushed aside by Kariz. 
as Toxie tries to make something happen, but it's not going to end up coming to fruition as Zolnik dumps it back into the St. Clair zone, tries to get his own rebound, banks it off the post, rebound, Toxie does find himself on the board and puts a little bit of hope in the fans of the University of Wisconsin lacrosse after getting the rebound off of the post. The assist from Zolnik, and finally, Wisconsin's on the board. 1-1 one, one tie, still more than half the game left to go here. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Chris coming in hot to try and find himself a shot. Might be able to get a rebound. He actually might have saved it. Score one safe to Chris on that one. Keeping it out of the Wisconsin zone. Granted, there was probably a defender right on him. He probably wanted one additional touch, but it did not go in his favor. In fact, he's going to be demoed here by Toxi, who is sitting there ready to accept the pass from Zolnik. But Fusion with the interception is going to throw a wrench into that plans and sends it back to Kamal all the way into the crease. Kariz, drive by and just going to end up waving at that one. Unfortunately, he did not find the mark. Toxi off the backboard. Looks for Ice, but Ice was not quite ready. He was getting some boost. He wasn't quite ready to go yet. Zolnik going to at least keep it in the St. Clair zone for a second until Fusion gets a hold of it and he's back on the roof. He's in the skies. He's where he likes to be. Passes it back. Who's going to get the shot? It's going to be the Kamal. Going to bounce it off the crossbar. Kariz was ready and waiting, but he didn't want to double commit to the shot. He's going to get robbed of that opportunity. Might have had the better shot in the end of it, but may have been too long for him to get there. That being said, after the demo from Kamal, Fusion pushes it forward. Kariz shot, but it's going to be denied by Toxi. Kamal in the corner with it. Kariz is ready and waiting with half, about half a tank left. Gets a shot on target off the crossbar. Kamal with the rebound. Going to secure that one. And that's going to give St. Clair the lead once again here in this match as Kariz banks it off the crossbar. Crossbar is everybody's friend here today, apparently. Or either your best friend or worst enemy. But the, apparently, the crossbar gives you some really, really good passes. 10 out of 10 would pass again. St. Clair with the one goal lead. Hang on to this, and the match is complete. It's all done at that point. And St. Clair will go with three wins total tonight, as well as double three owing their play versus matches. But that being said, there's still a bunch of time left on the clock here. Minute 30 is still plenty of time to make something happen. Off the wall, we see Kamal bouncing it off the backboard. Shot by Kariz goes wide. Where is Fusion? He's probably off getting some boost. He's not able to make the play. Kariz is actually trying to just brute force it. Nearly took care of it. Fusion, slow control. Wait, ready, wait, waiting for it, but it's going to end up getting past not only himself, but Kamal as well. Kariz is here to keep it in the zone. Just dumps it into the corner and backs out of dodge. You can tell St. Clair is not afraid to slow it down at this moment. They're a little bit slower getting to these balls that they know are uncontested. Some high flyers or some slow rollers. They're not going to just brute force it back into the Wisconsin zone. They're going to take their time. They're going to kill this clock. As we see Ice try to take the shot right off of Kariz's bumper that it did not bounce as they would have wanted. Zolnik trying to make a challenge, but Ice going to receive his pass. Kamal clears it out. Zolnik is not going to be in position to try and scoop this up. Right stuck in the neutral zone. Fusion gets an opportunity for a breakout, and he's going to barely miss his shot. But the rebound from Kamal was on target. Zolnik going to keep his team in the game. But Kariz from the wall barely going to be shot wide. This could be the start of something, though. Kamal makes a shot off the crossbar after his teammate did get demoed. Kariz, as the time is ticking down, looking for possibly one more for some insurance, and he damn well finalizes it. A beautiful play by Kariz to seal the deal on this entire match as he's able to just fly around like a madman, get past everybody, and even use Ice's bumper just ever so slightly to secure that victory. 3-1 to one here for St. Clair. There's a chance that I think University of Wisconsin could secure one, but I don't think they'll be able to secure two. A fantastic match between these squads. You can tell that Wisconsin definitely made the adjustments as the, uh, the game went on. But it was too little, too late, and it wasn't quite enough. St. Clair going to secure the 3-0 victory here in this match after two goals from Kariz, one from Kamal, and then the one goal from Wisconsin was brought to you by Toxie.
And with that, that's the end of the matches. Well, obviously, a big props to St. Clair for the performances today. With three wins in three matches, fantastically done. We're able to take the play versus matches in 3-0 fashion both times. The first one, they definitely seem to have a handle on. This second play versus match was a little bit closer, but there was never a point, at least personally, that I felt like they were behind in any regard. It felt like they always had some sort of control in that game. So, fantastic job there. And then that UCEA match that we saw versus Oakland University, that was an absolute banger. I'm actually surprised with how that last game ended, where St. Clair, after it being a one-goal, maybe two-goal game at most, turned into like a six-something. It was definitely quite the change. And just goes to show that... Uh, we have a pretty solid uh, St. Clair uh, Rocket League squad here, and I look forward to seeing as to how they perform in these playoffs moving forward. Because with that, they do get to move forward. I'm just trying to see when the next date is that I have scheduled. And in fact, speaking of schedule, why don't I compare notes here with myself? Of course, we just had ourselves the Rocket League matchups. That's all done for tonight. But then we have a couple days, but without any live matches as of right now. But then we get back in action on Tuesday with OPSE Hearthstone happening at 8 o'clock. And on Wednesday, that is going to be at 6 o'clock. That's what I forgot to fix. Um, 6 o'clock, it's going to be OPSE League of Legends versus the University of Ottawa. Then on Thursday, we have the playoffs. Or not the playoffs. This is the play versus. I think it's the final regular season match in play versus because then on the weekend on Saturday, we do have, of course, the season opener for TESPA Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. But there is also playoff matches happening for both UCEA Rocket League and play versus Rocket League. So, of course, as to which match will be streamed, it depends all on what ends up happening in regards to scheduling match times. Of course, I want to get as many of those games streamed as possible. That being said, if a playoff game does overlap Call of Duty, unfortunately, we're going to have to hold off on that Cold War hype just a touch. But best case scenario, Call of Duty's at 3 o'clock and then uh, Rocket League's at 8 or something like that. But we'll have to see moving forward. Of course, if you want to catch the updates on that one, follow the Twitch channel. Uh, of course, our Saints Gaming CA Twitch channel will have the notifications come out when matches go live. And then if you want to get a bit ahead of the game, make sure to follow our social medias. And that's Saints Gaming CA on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You'll get the notifications and get informed as to which matches are happening when, as well as any other results that may not make it onto a stream match and whatnot. Keep up with us that way. If you want to keep up with any of my own personal doings, of course, Mr. Danner's on Twitter is where you can find me. I know personally, kind of excited for tomorrow. I get to try and learn how to spectate and commentate Call of Duty Cold War within a week. And you'll, you'll be hearing me if there's something wrong with Codcaster, because we all know how much I loved Modern Warfare's Codcaster. But we'll have to see nonetheless. I am excited. I'm excited for the playoffs for all these teams. I'm excited for Cold War. And then, of course, I'm a big racing nerd as well. So you might uh, catch some glimpses of that as well. But with that, we shall close off. Of course, thank you to St. Clair College, the St. Clair College SRC, the St. Clair College Alumni Association, Tim Horton, Suckman School of Business, and PC Outlet that makes St. Clair Saints possible. Of course, would not be possible at all without their help. Big shout outs, of course, to all the fans here, whether you're here for any of the teams today, Wisconsin, Oakland, or Florida, or you're here for St. Clair, of course. Big shout outs to you for supporting your programs, supporting your friends, family, or your classmates, and making the esports dream uh, alive and supporting those on their esports endeavors. Now, with that, I think it's about time to close out. So, of course, next live match will be on Tuesday unless something new comes up. And be sure to follow Saints, uh, Saints Gaming CA to get notified in case something does come up out of the blue. But with that, my name is Dan Banner, also known as Mr. Danners, and I will see you Tuesday for some OPSC Hearthstone.